Well, here it is. I found something free. It is uh, 9.43 at night. And this is what I am going to attempt to redo somehow. Let me try to get it. Found something else. Not bad. It's old wood. It could look pretty cute. Of course, my husband picks it up with one hand. It's in excellent condition. Look, it's old pine. It could actually look pretty cute. Right, babe? It's old wood. Dang, I never go around my neighborhood looking for free stuff. Maybe I should. Yay, I like. Doesn't smell great. So I'm kind of freaking out. I don't know what it smells like, but my car kind of stunk. So some nails coming out on the top. That's what I was telling you. Heck, and they don't even go. No, anyway, something was there. There's nothing in something me either. Probably spilled some cologne in there. Cologne, I'm telling you, it smells like old, like uh, it's like a uh, old spice or something. Okay, well, gotta be on stinky pie. All right, babe, put it in the, in the back. It is Sunday, January 29th. It is 35 degrees in Dallas. Feels like in the 20s, I believe low 20s. Uh, it's super windy. My daughter just texted me a picture. I will put it right here. And she's out with her friends and they were driving somewhere and she says she saw this and she knows that i'm looking for a piece um i'm going to get it i'm in the car waiting for my husband to get over here we're on their way to get it and this is going to be the perfect piece for the challenge i'm super excited because i think i finally see the potential in this one i got two more pieces one i trashed immediately and one i wasn't too happy with so this is the one i'm so happy for it We were comfortably at home watching football because it's super cold, like I said. And I just literally made him get up <laughs> and said, let's go. I'm not even gonna show you the rags that I have on because literally I'm still in just comfy clothes that I have been wearing all day and threw something on. I don't even, I don't even think that I put my hair in a total bun. I just had it tied and we're going. It's here, it's here, it's here. We found it. Hey, it's not in bad shape. <clears throat> oh my, oh my God, babe, there, the drawers are right here. Yes, found the drawers, ew. Well, there is a, really it's not bad, but I don't need that. Thank you so much. Cool, I'm so excited. I never find anything and i didn't think the drawers were here so i think it's got lots of potential love and legs oh yeah this is definitely gonna be it and free yeah because i never get anything for free so this is gonna be it let's load it up wait i lost my husband now he's he went to see what else we can find oh my god there's just lots of trash. Wow, there's all kinds of stuff. Hey, 
they're free. Sure. There's a nightstand. I'll check this one out too. I don't want a rug. I don't want anything that has to do with or a mattress or you can have mattress. Those. Yeah, those are nice. Hopefully we can fit them. So it's not dovetail. I think I'm gonna pass on it since it's already been painted and all of that is more work than I need. But thank you. There's a coffee table. I'm cool. Now we gotta figure out this thing. So give me a second. I help lift it and then he finishes the job. Thank God I have a good car. That's always important. And we're taking the chairs. Those are in really decent condition. So. Well, thank you and thanks to my daughter for the lead found the piece that was a real find that was really good so that's gonna be the piece let's get into it so here it is it really is I think a very good piece we found the drawers that was the biggest thing they're actually very clean I'm gonna remove this so that it's like this one I'm trying to decide what to do with this insets and then this inset right here which is not ugly it's metal but I'm trying to decide what I want to do with that this can be removed so that makes it a lot easier. The piece, like I said, is not in bad shape. There is a drawer uh, shelf back there also. It just needs to come down. So let's get a plan together and get going on this baby. Free. I'm never this lucky. This is pretty cool. As usual with all of my pieces, I will take this through a several step cleaning, if you will. But I begin by giving it a good dusting, a wipe, and then taking apart all of the pieces. In this case, this piece has doors, so I'm going to remove them. Disassemble those because I'm, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen with that metal part yet. I'm cleaning out the felt that was in that drawer and just giving everything a good wipe so that i can assess exactly what i will be doing next i started by scuff sanding the piece in my mind i thought you know what i'll just paint the entire thing so that's what i started to do but as soon as i started to when I give this sand that try. I said this top could be really pretty so let's get the QCS I'm gonna go ahead and give it a new try and I say new try because I put this away for several weeks after I tried it and it didn't perform the way that I wanted it to so this time I followed the, the instructions religiously I am putting a good coat on it I made sure that I applied it well waited 15 minutes came back did another 15 or another spray we did an extra 15 minutes and then began to remove that top stain. It worked much better this time, I have to say that. To remove the excess, I use White Lightning by Dixie Bell. It is their TSP cleaner. And it worked very well at removing QCS. So I'm quite happy with the performance from both of those products at this point. I allowed all of that to dry and then came back and started sanding. As you can see, the sanding paper is coming up pretty badly. So 
I allowed it to continue to dry because sometimes that's all it needs and I started to work on the drawers. The drawers got the same treatment as that top. Basically, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand uh, and remove all of the stain from that top part where the division is coming in. This was very tedious but necessary and it just has to get done. Bottom line. I think I now have a pretty good picture in my head of what I'm going to be doing with this piece though. The next day I came back and sanded completely that top. As you can see, I also worked on the drawers and at this point, I am just going to clear coat everything the way that it looks and then I began to sand that division trim right there and as I'm doing that I'm starting to wonder you know what I think I got this I think I am going to paint the bottom leave the top like this but I'm gonna do something special with the drawers and those doors so let me finish sanding this and then get right to wiping everything all over again before I start my priming and my paint. And then we will get going with that. For my primer, I use Boss by Dixie Bell. And Boss is basically a problem solver that is used for stains, autos, or to stop bleed through. So it's excellent for that. Then I went ahead and gave everything a scuff sand again, cleaned it again, and then began my paint. And for the paint color, I chose dried sage, which is a beautiful muted sage green with lots of browns undertones. It's kind of weird because when I looked at it, and this is my first use in this color, but when I looked at it, I literally thought that this was going to be like a tan color. But when it dries, it dries green and it's the most beautiful shade. And as you will see, it's a very hard shade of green to actually photograph. But as you can see right there on the screen, it looks brown when you put it on like a tan. So for the, for the door divisions or that metal part that was on there I think is beautiful and I think I'm going to leave it on there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a grass cloth a wallpaper that I have it is not the right color but you'll see what I do with that however I just went, I went ahead and flipped that and glued it against that wallpaper and then um, trimmed it and all of the, that good stuff and allowed it to dry for several hours I think I left it like four or six hours to dry to make sure that it was going to attach very well to that metal part and I'm going to use the grass cloth on the doors as you saw they it's kind of a reddish color so I have a solution for that and we will go over it in just a second but I had to do both of the panels and I put a whole bunch of books encyclopedias because they do still come in very handy um, to flatten that then I painted the doors and allowed everything to drive very well. Came back and gave a second coat on the piece. And I do wish everything went that quickly. I am enjoying painting by brush a lot more lately. I am getting smaller pieces right now to do so I'm able to do that because I'm in Texas y'all and I think Texas pieces are just as big as Texas but lately I have been having a couple of smaller pieces and I'm enjoying painting them by hand. So here's my solution for the texture wallpaper that I'm using again it is grass cloth so what I did is I went ahead and I did a paint wash. The wood on that top, although it's very beautiful, is still very pink anyway. So I went ahead and not only did this help with the pink 
on that wood but it also help remove the red from the grass cloth so a paint wash it is it is the easiest thing to do i use two colors again by dixie bell i used um fluff in 50 percent and i used i believe it was sandbar at 50 percent as well um and it looks beautiful and it's basically all that this piece needed i am applying that combination for this for the wash it's like a stain wash if you will but it's with paint and then immediately i'm going over with a rag the rag is wet and i am removing the excess i am just tinting the wood i do it on the top as well and, and you will see that it makes a huge difference it removes that pink but it also just evens out the tone of the wood and it makes everything just absolutely gorgeous The door panels also got a coat of paint and I left everything to dry overnight. This ensures that the glue sticks but the paint is completely dry also. After I went home and thought about it, I came back the next day and decided that I was going to patch up the doors and use different hardware that I had anticipated. So that's what I did. I want to kind of let you also know that tomorrow, Sunday, the Ugly Duckling Challenge will also be happening and I will have a video participating in that challenge too. So make sure that you come back tomorrow to watch that one. It will be a fun one as well. I used um, toothpicks to fill in that little hole and then the um, wood putty to make sure that the hole is completely filled in allowed that to dry and then came back and painted it i just wanted to kind of show you what i do with those small pieces like that it makes it very easy for that to be filled in that way after everything was dried i went ahead and top coated this piece i did two coats on the body and i did four coats on the wood part just to make sure that it has a little bit of a sheen and everything else too. I put the door insets back and added some small tack nails and then some finishing nails also to make sure that that metal piece does not move and then added the backing that the door had anyway which is added security for it. And then finally you guys remember how this looked completely different this trashed piece is gorgeous now that's kind of all that i can say about it i'm totally in love with it and i know that i say that about all of my pieces but this one really came out and surprised me I made several changes on the design of it as I was going and I'm very glad with the, made, the changes that I made and the decisions that I made. That drawer liner complements the piece perfectly. That sage green is just muted enough to be a statement but not something that is too bold. I think it's classic and it will be a color that will be around for many many years. It's soft enough that it just looks gorgeous in any space and along with that wood top it is an excellent design decision and something that is some is it's what they're selling at the stores all over the place and for way more that you will spend if you purchase it from me which brings up a point it is available <laughs> the inside of it is super spacious and very clean and smells delicious because I added some big mama's butter look at that beautiful wood the hardware and that texture on everything looks amazing love the grass cloth
on this. Love it. I think it was one of the best decisions I've made on something here lately. It just looks so good. I want to make sure that I thank Sabrina from Saps Rehabs for putting this spring challenge together. The link to all the videos will be in the description as well as all of the products. And as always, please be sure to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.